is the issue. Second is here. Is there a second to perform it?
Bravo Medical High School does not have a track and field, a soccer, so they do not have a sports uh, facility. I have asked this gentleman in the past if he'd be winning out office or something like that. And basically, that has not happened. I sent emails to Council Member Wilson, these are uh, this gentleman and other uh, UNC staff members, and they basically shine me off. Basically, what's going on here is I want you guys, if this town hall meeting to happen, I need you guys to support some type of sports facility for USC. We need to make that happen. I'm sure everyone in this room has seen those kids running from Long Medical High School during track and field up the hill with the danger of being run over by a car. That is serious. Number two, that is the only high school in this area that has to go downtown rent their facility for soccer. Think about how much extra money these students have to raise in order to do that. They have to rent other facilities and they also have to rent the, uh, uh, raise the money for their buses to get there and come back. All I'm asking is with all the land that USC owns, why can't we donate just a little bit of that land to make them a track and field? That's all I've been asking you guys for. Two years, two years, and you guys still haven't responded to my email, but I will continue to bug you until you respond. You can respond right here, right now, first.
Saturday, April 26, 2014, from 10 to 4. The increase will be used for specific engagement, engagement events held at two locations in LA32. Meet and greet the candidates today. Election the announcement and candidates in local print media, outreach materials, flyers, posters, postcards, barbecue event of the day of the, of the, day of the election. The goal of the election committee is to reach out to the of the stakeholders in line that will also to difficult and inclusive engagement. We have a question for that motion.
So while it may not get you a million candidates and 2,000 voters, what it will do is get you the identity this neighborhood council needs so that everyone in the neighborhood knows you're here and that you represent them. You don't represent your parochial interests. You don't represent your little enclave of people. You need to represent the entire people in your district. And the only way you're going to do that is to let them the only way you're going to know, the only way you're going to do that is to let them know you're there. So with $30,000 in the bank and it's February, and they're going to sweep your money in June and take it and put it back in the black hole, you are failing your constituents. You don't put your money out and put your elections up front for people. You are failing. You are violating your charter. And you are not doing what you were elected to do, which is to truly outreach to your stakeholders and to get them involved in your neighborhood council and be heard. So what I'm saying to you tonight is, and I wasn't here earlier, and I'm leaving for another neighborhood council, but what I did here was you're now going to throw any funding issue on elections to budget and budget to executive and executive to who the hell knows where. And the reality is that you don't have time. You do not have time to play ping pong, and you don't have the right to exclude your stakeholders from knowing what's going on. And if you're going to play a political process to stop money from being put out for elections, <laughs> then I would urge people to really gang in and get involved in your elections, because you're not meeting your fiduciary responsibility to your stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, the board that represents the 35,000 people in your district and reach out with open hands, not reach out after the fact. So what I'm saying to you, Mr. Temporary Chair, tonight, and to all of you on the board, is enough is enough. You guys got to stop fighting each other. You guys got to come together for the elections. If you, if you don't have anything else that works for you in the next four months, Make the elections the thing you can stand up. You know, I tell people all the time, the biggest flaw in our election process is they want me to go find someone to run against me. That's how it's always been. Is that dumb? Absolutely. But guess what? I got people on my board that I'd love to see gone. I'll go get 12 people to run against them. So you have a great opportunity, especially with some of the issues you guys have had. This, this factual issue, and, and it's not uncommon. Let me tell you, what goes on in this neighborhood council is not uncommon to other neighborhood councils. What is uncommon is the lack of action, okay? Even the factual fighting people are getting stuff done and reaching out. Rampart Village just voted $25,000. I want to point of life. order, I, I believe that Pro why life. does this person sit here and not know what we've been going through and come and give, give us a lecture. He's supposed to be an independent. And and I, yeah, he's right. Listen, sir. He's I'm right. He's right. Be quiet. Let him talk. No, he's no. right. He's 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 right. He's and yes. you come Thank over you. here and you say oh, those things. Let him talk. Be quiet. Let him talk. Let him talk. So, Mr. Chair, again, what I'm urging you tonight is you have to be rude. Spend money to reach out to your stakeholders. Don't turn this into a long, protracted process that will not allow you to have good, solid elections. Spend that money before the city takes it and puts it back in the black hole. Then at least use it for your own benefit. Thank you. Thank you.
is listed in the motion. Correct. Again, I would like to make sure and iterate that the community beacon be added to the local print media for an amount of $1,000. That's my motion. The second. You have to make the initial motion. Okay, well, let me read a point of clarification. So, that's a good, okay, this is a good suggestion. However, so this is why I wanted to speak earlier on this. We reviewed your agenda, okay? We, as in the general manager funding staff, we all did. The way that it is written, it is not itemized. There's no, like, $1,000 to Deacon, $5,000 to whatever t-shirt company. This is why I stated my motion earlier in terms of you're still going to have to have a special meeting. The election committee is still going to have to have, at this point now, the election committee is going to have to have a special meeting to itemize whatever amount is approved today. That then is going to your budget and finance. That then is going to your executive committee. That then will now come to your board. That's the process that you have, because again, you can definitely approve the 10 grand or 5, however you want to. So are we unable to just allocate the money? Yes, yes. It's not, we're not taking that action. Exactly. The only action that you're taking, that's the thing. The way that the motion is written did not itemize what that money was going to. So for example, if you had had, what's another paper around here? Yes. Okay. I would like to amend this motion here to add the itemized item into the motion. No, you can't do that. Why not? Why not? So they have to have a bill. Okay, the motion here, what you can amend, okay, let me go back. The motion here says increase the expenditure amount 5,000 to 10,000. An amendment to that would be 5,000 to 8,000. That would be an amendment to this motion. That election committee then has to go back with $8,000 and say, this is how we're going to break it down. Then it goes to budget and finance, then to the executive committee, and then it comes back to the board, and then the board can then amend whatever motions are on it. Isn't there reasoning behind the $10,000? I'm pretty sure she can explain why they want $10,000. What they're going to spend it on right there? You can ask the chair of the election committee, and I'm pretty sure she'll respond why they want $10,000. That's the subject matter, Ron. If you have questions regarding that, to determine your vote, whether it be increased or not, we'll ask those questions. If you're not comfortable with it, then you know what? We need to make it quick. I'm going to talk to my dad. Anything from the board members? I'm sorry. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Really quickly, I'm so sorry. If you're unable to do that, then you can ask the chair of the election committee. You can ask the chair of the election committee. You can ask the chair of the election committee. There could be a potential conflict. There's three people here. Yes. Yes. No, that's a big no. I'm sorry. That's not part of the discussion. FYI. Let me recognize the place I have what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from my right this time. Board members discussion on the agenda and I have only. Mr. Chair, as the treasurer, did you get any advice how to whether you should go forward with this $10,000 allocation, whether to stick with our original benchmark allocation of $5,000 from any officials, whether city council, department of internal empowerment, or anybody? Because our original budget at my item was $5,000. Okay? Now, how did this $10,000 come out of the blue? Because my thought here is that since if that benchmark had been left at this, then we would not have been broaching any potential violations of dump protocols or directives to talk about budgetary issues besides the ones that were already allocated. Okay? Was there any, do you have any advice from the department for the department whether to go forward with this $10,000 or not? Because I've kind of noticed tonight that we're being kind of told to move on here. I want to know what advice you got as a treasurer from any departmental officials on this issue. If I'm going to speak on this item, I need to release the chair to someone. 
And we're short on time, we've maybe left for 10 minutes. Or 10, minutes. 10 minutes, I'm looking at the clock. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to release the chair to you, Miranda, is that okay? <laughs>
a specific itemized item of an amount of a thousand dollars for a local community newspaper in the area. I was prevented from doing so by Dunn. Okay, and then Dunn made the argument that this motion needs to be itemized and for the amount to be allocated. So you know what? I agree with that. All right. I want this itemized because if I can't see the community beacon getting a thousand dollars and they're doing you know work with you know both our neighbor council and Lincoln Heights, I'm not going to support this. I want an itemized expenditure accounting of the ten thousand dollars, and I am not seeing that in this motion as it stands. So I am motioning right here to table. I, I want to hear from the rest of the board members first, Mr. Handel, just to give them an opportunity. Go ahead, Yolanda.